Tell them how bad it sucks, honey. It's miserable. Pouring down rain. Look. It's coming a thunderstorm. Been up to 3 o'clock in the morning. We got the U-Haul. We're going to get a unit in the thunderstorm. It's going to be raining pretty much all day like this. But we got to go today. Because our daughter has a dentist appointment. So we got to go early. Yeah. We got to grab the stuff together. So we got to grab these. Oh, look, we get a mouse? No. So we got to grab these. Uh, these straps, maybe? Where's the other strap? Oh, funny thing, they're in the trailer. So we don't have any straps, but we got gloves. And some straps are good. An air pump. Can't never tell when you need an air pump. Too early for this. Yeah, it's real early for this. <laughs> I'm cold, soaking wet. It's coming a gosh darn hurricane out here. Let's see where we're at. Let me cut off this light so y'all can see. This is the one that's got that dresser in the front with the um, all the boxes around it and the couch in the back. This one don't have a couch. No. Uh -huh. No. I didn't see a couch. It's in the back. I didn't see a couch. Got the crutches right at the door. The liquor, the like spritz bottle on top of the dresser. Howdy, howdy everybody. Welcome back. Thank y'all for being here. As y'all can see, we're here. The light is bright. So bright. <sighs> so, if y'all are new here, I'm Colton. That's my wife, Courtney. We resell full time. We're up. At dawn in the thunderstorm to buy stuff to sell. Where? Up at dawn, like the butt crack of dawn. Mm. Early to get stuff to sell so we can make some money. And we're in the middle of a darn thunderstorm, but it's like a hurricane. Yeah. Picking up four units today. I think since the last video we bought five. Not five units, but we didn't film none of them. And because we, you guys, there's, there's reasons why it's either. Didn't have the time, the that's, weather. That's kind of what we're at now. We're two hours away from home. It's 6.30 Alabama time. And we got to be back and 30 miles away from home by 1.30 for our daughter's orthodontic, orthodontic appointment. So we got to hurry. So we're up here going to load them and go. Can't so, really load them right now. Probably won't film them here, but we will. Um, we may show them. you guys when like, we get to the door. We'll probably just load it all and then we got a big storage unit at home we rented, so we're all unloaded in there, and then we'll just show y'all there, I guess, all of them combined. We paid a total of... 685 for 685 for four of them. Let me get that light. That's better. Woo! So... Can I still see us, though? Let's get into it. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. It was at this moment that he knew. I screwed up. Go, 
Alrighty y'all, it's the following day and we're back. Yesterday was a long day. We got back, went over there, loaded it all up, and was back here at 10 35 when we pulled back in the lot. So, it wasn't too bad, was it? Mm -hmm. Except for the rain and storm. But we hadn't unloaded but one piece. I'll show you that in a minute. Y'all ever seen a redneck chair? Dude died in this. He didn't die in it. Well, he was walking from this. So, there's a war. See that war? Maybe Okay, there's a war. And you have to grab that war with a pair of pliers and pull it. And then it lets it out. Because somebody broke the handle. So you got to keep your pair of pliers. Why do they call it a pair if it's single? I guess because it's got two sides. And sometimes it won't lock, so you have to jiggle the war. So, this is one of the pieces we got yesterday. It's a washstand marble top. Pretty nice. Empty. As Courtney says, the mail's old. So, this morning we've been in here playing Jenga, getting stuff organized. It's Tetris, right? No. Tetris. I am Tetris. So that's where you gotta turn your shapes and everything. So that's what Jenga. We take the top piece and try not to. A little bit of spot, we put something small there. And then some space over here we did. We need to paint it done. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing that soon. I'm thinking about putting faux wood over all this block so we can hang pictures up. We can have deal with it. It's a lot of, a lot of wood. That's what she said. Okay. Oh my God. Or you can just screw in the two by fours like I talked about doing and just have a picture side by side. So I'll show you the, the truck. So I told you it's wrong. I said we paid six eighty five. We didn't. They give us a hundred dollars back. We paid five eighty five plus a hundred dollar cleaning deposit for four units. Which is good because it's all right here in the end. Y'all see that um, box springs up there? That from there back is nothing but furniture. So what we'll do is we'll start pulling this furniture off and showing it to you. And from there up is three other units. This was all one unit right here. This was the biggest, a 10 by 30. 10 by 20. 10 by 20. Look at this old era. I mean, I really don't know where we're going to put into this. That right there is an old painting. Mirrors and glass. That's what we put all our pictures and mirrors and glass in. It's too heavy to move. Yeah, it's heavy, honey. I know. But I didn't want them to get broke. And the boxes are crap. So we gotta figure that out. That's the situation. But we got that spindle bed, poster bed. And we got the dresser, chest of drawers, and the matching. I don't know if we got anything else that matches. Well, I don't know if the box spring fits this one. I'm assuming it's gonna fit this one. The full or whatever box spring. If it's not shorter, because back in the day, people were shorter, so their beds were shorter. I mean, I understand that they're, they're three quarter beds, but I don't know if that's why they just had that box spring. I reckon why people were shorter. I guess they put bricks on their heads. Mm. I never got that tall genetic. No. Nope. I'm, I'm short and fat and stumpy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that wash stand. There's uh, some kind of desk. Yes. I would put that desk back here with that other desk. 
Or do you not think it would fit with that metal thing? You may have to put the disc up front. I'm confused as to what you're talking about. This right here. See, if we put that desk there, I don't think, I think it'll interfere with that metal thing. Yeah, it will. So the desk needs to go up front where I told you to put the wash, where we ought to put the wash stand. I'll put the wash stand back here. Or can we put that white wash stand by that other wash stand? Um, you don't even know me. Nope. But I was going to put the desk there, but it ain't going to work there. You sure do look pale. I feel pale. <clears throat> what if we slide those two things down? There ain't much of a color difference between your face and that washer and dryer. Mm. Well, you also got the outside reflection. That's natural light, honey. Do we want to move? Not hey, do we want to move those two over and put that desk right there next to that other desk? Come again? That TV stand and that glass cabinet thing. Do we want to slide it over towards the barrel table and put that desk right there? TV stand. That one. The sofa table thing. That's oh, a that's a sofa table. We want to slide it down. Yep. Towards the barrel table and then put that desk in there. Yep. But then we also have that hutch. What hutch? It's gonna go right there. It'll go right here. But you were just talking about putting that washer and dryer set here. Yeah. Well, then now I'd put the desk there. Here's our back room. It's kind of disastrous right now. They come out of them units yesterday. We just brought it in here. Colony people. Or Asians. I think it's Asians. We don't have bonsai trees. So. Well, don't Japanese have bonsai trees? Or just. That's Asian. We ain't really doing much in here. I bought a. Rented a 12 by 40 unit just up the street storage locker. Make it a lot easier to bring stuff in and out of. So we're trying to stock it up with furniture. Well, basically, that's just the overflow. And you this guys. is. I'm wanting this just to be small. The furniture is overflow. But one for thing the at a time. One thing is... I'm going to shut this because we got the air on. Not that oh, it's making much difference. We got a basketball goal up here. You see it? It's in like a hundred pieces in the box. I'm pretty sure it's all there. But somebody take the dickens out of that box. Ten rolls of tape. I bet. Every bit. We got a mouse problem. <laughs> and he's been coming in out the case here. Right, got it done. And before y'all say steel wool or aluminum pool, this rat is eating through it. He eats through um, full tape, he's eating through aluminum pool, and he's eating through steel wool. He's like a mutant. So, and he's not the size of a every, little field mouse. Yeah, he's real tiny, a little bit mouse. So, if y'all think that aluminum pool or steel wool will stop him, not this one, it won't. And y'all, he's literally detouring away from the trap. So I had and to And we set. see him every so often running across here. We've caught a bunch, but. What it is, is we think he's coming out of the wall where we had cut holes. So we take the holes and then he chewed through the aluminum pool, so. All right, we got, we've been procrastinating. We got to start on this truck. I'm so tired. See, that wash stand won't go there now that I'm looking at it. It's not wide enough. Unless we saw that table down some more and move that massage cot. Put it right there. This is the struggles of not having a big enough store. Where you want to put the desk here instead? Because the desk is wider. Yeah, we can. But then we got to find somewhere for the hutch. Oh, have y'all seen our big fan? I pulled this. We've had it forever since we've been here. I pulled it out of the back room and put wheels on it. But bigger wheels. So now we just turn it right here and blow air. We just circulate air because we leave the doors closed. Do we got to do this? Unless you want to hire help. And just so y'all know, U-Hauls are not waterproof. They're water resistant. <laughs> when we got See, out. See, it even says it right here. This truck is water resistant, not waterproof. When we got out of there, the truck was sitting at a slight angle like this. And I opened up the back and there was six inches of water all on this side here. So what we had to do was open a bag of raunchy clothes and absorb the water. In the rain, you guys. Remember, it's still raining. It's not that fun. So it's the next day. We um, we unloaded the truck all day yesterday. But this right here is the coolest thing I've found so far. 
It is an authentic. Look at that. NXT official. So, we got that out of the unit. Missed my calling, didn't I? So that's pretty cool. That's going online. They sell for about 200, 250, 150 around in there. It's pretty good condition. So we got that. Well, there's people in here about to come in here. So we gotta be quick. So we also got, why are you strobing that? Oh, am I strobing it? My bad. So in the unit, Is honey? it strobing again? Yes. God darn it. That's how I leave it. Even though you're buying the crap out of me. So. We did pick up a lot of antique furniture. I don't think that's a good one. I know. What price that? He said, what time? Price of what? Price of what? The vacuum price. Which one? The big, big one. Well, what do you think? The big baker's rack. Follow me around over here. Let me, allow me to show you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got all sorts of new things here at Van Resale this week. This is Baker track that the gentleman just called on. He's wanted to make it his wife and piece that for, for a coffee stand and, and plants and other things of that nature. This is it right here. He's coming in the morning at nine o'clock. Okay, what other pieces? Thanks, pretty tall, we... ain't About seven foot, four foot wide, about a foot deep. What else we get? I mean, you're already on. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. Y'all go ahead. Oh, come on, Curtis. You were doing so good. I'll tell them what you learned about this one, this piece. This piece right here is, is an early American sewing ta tablet, table. The ladies used to sit with yarn in this area here at, at, at their uh, regular chairs and would allow the yarn to go in here. They close the door slightly and pull the yarn out and have their stuff in there, all their yarn and materials. And they could fix their makeup while they were doing they, it. They could actually, yeah, they could do that. But actually the mirror the lady told me was actually so they could see what they were doing in a mirror. Piece here is a dresser with a mirror and original. We got the keys for it. Keys. Key, the key, original key is in single. It's the whole thing. People were scared in those days, I guess. Everybody's stealing their stuff. <laughs> Everything you got got a lock on it. Everything we got's got a lock on it. And we got keys for every one of them. Oh, you forgot this one. This one is a washstand. That's a Colton top. special. Colton special. What does that mean? Because he Pull fixed the side. Out. Well, he fixed the side. I got you. Yeah, it's all antique. Do you get these four before yeah. down in here? Two by one before. That's a one before it. Yeah. Mm. Now, yep, that's that a Colton redneck right special right there. Yeah, I didn't fix that. That was the moral. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like you've been Taco Bell too much. Ha ha ha. All right. That's about it. Now we got those other pieces over there. We got this All nice right. mattress. Nice mattress. I don't know about the mattress. <laughs> this, we got this other piece. This right here is real nice. Antique desk with felt top. Got all sorts of little cubby cubbies in it. And locks. And lock. Has the key. Every has drawer key. has a lock. And one key fits off. Then you got a painting up here called by Sebastian. 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 What kind of painting is that? I have no clue. Some Victorian. It looks it? like a Victorian age type thing. No, but what is it? Is it oil or water? I don't know. I'm not a I'm gonna say look, oil. look like oil to me. I'm almost. You say water? I'm gonna say I was oil. gonna go more with like acrylic. Acrylic? I'm gonna say oil. Like Bob Ross. If anybody knows, just by looking at it, you can let us know. Called Sebastian was the artist. I wanna say it's acrylic. I'm going clean toilet. Wait, wait, you gotta, you got, I got, I got, you know, I got clean toilet, so. <laughs> you know, we have to do it all. I have to do it all around here. I am the man who does it all. I'm the toilet player. This one, people will probably come in and try to rip the door off. Just ask me that <laughs> little hinge. Let me show them the little hinge. And we have to keep these doors open in order to keep this from happening. A little latch, because someone will come in and grab it, bam, and grab bam. It and just keep pulling until it breaks. So we have to be careful with that. And I think we need to oil that door. No, which one? The the. If the top ones are open, it won't open. It won't open, right? 
If the top one, top doors are open, the bottom will open. Close it and try to open it. What are you talking about? That one. Does it feel rough? If you open the top. Does it feel rough? Like, Did no, it feel no. rough? Now try to close it. Which one? Try to close that one with the door open. This one. Is it rough for now? Mm -hmm. uh, that I had probably pretty... yesterday, I guess, because it was smaller. I felt rough earlier. It's just sliding. Those yeah, sliding this out. door down here, door down here will feel a little. Is it but tight? anyway, this, yeah. back to what you were showing here. This has got all sorts of little cubby holes in it. Check that out. And locks. That's a hidden one. Those, ain't, those are just drawers. That came out of, I don't know, but it had a card in it said somebody in Associates. It could have been an attorney's office. What year do you think that is? I have no clue. If this one's got it. in the side. I'm going to say the 90s. Jasper cabinet. I'm going to say late 90s, early 2000s. This is mahogany wood, you guys. Mahogany press wood. I'm going to say the 90s. What it but it's also burned right there. It's burned. That's what I was looking at. I'm going to still say the 90s. So it's not antique? That I'm thing's antique. not even antique a little. It's a press board up on top. I'm antique. It's okay. This right here. This is antique. antique. Yeah, that's got, it's like a wash, what is it? A wash, wash stand. Stand with marble top. And it's got key holes. But there's no key to that one. We have the key to the secretary though. And this piece. Last but not least, another antique wash stand. That is an antique. Let me know here. I got it in super You have to be wide. real careful with this one too because somebody's going to pull the door off of this one and it's got the same. Well, that's got a homemade latch system. See that? Right? See that right there? And it hooks in that little hole. Oh, well, yeah, somebody probably put that in. If you don't leave it open, somebody will rip that off in the store. Well, got some good pieces in, didn't you? Real and that's good. all that we have out. But see, our floor's uneven so it won't stay closed. <laughs> Or that's the reason they put that little loop-de-loop -loop on there, because it's haunted. Could be. Well. You got a hole in your shirt. Do I really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where? Right there. Right. That's because I've been working around here no, so hard. That gum. Oh, we're hitting that whip the other day. When you had that whip in a week and you say <laughs> other yeah, that's day. That's where you hit me with the whip. Alright. That's all the new Gotta go. I gotta go back to toilet clean. The first day the office. That's enough. What was that? Kind of like some rock. That was my shoestring hitting the floor. <laughs> mm. It's getting bad right here. So, there's toilet oh. paper in the book room. He's cleaning the bathroom. I am hey, look, somebody took uh, that stuff, nail polish, put it all over that door, down in the floor. Look, it's on that shelf over there. On this shelf right here. Okay. Right there, there's another piece. Why would they do that? And look, they made a smiley face right here. Because people are animals. So I took the nail polish out now. And we have no nail polish. Day in the life of Curtis. Everybody said they need more Curtis in I, life. Yeah, but I'm... I'm let me get into action first, okay? Okay, you want me to say action? No, let me get... Let me no, get let you get your stuff going. Let me, get my, let me get done. You do a lot of walking. I'm trying to get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to be polite about it. So leave me alone. Here's the action shot. That's right. Oh, we got mild tough cocktails. Hey, honey. He did say, <laughs> keep the thing out and put it in there. Curtis, turn turn off just a do you know Courtney parked her car up there? Courtney to what? Parked her car up there. Oh. You better put it back in that seat. You're breaking my bristles. It won't fly straight, will it? No. <laughs> no, I'm going to fly to the left. Now you're breaking my broom. See the glorious oh life. Curtis, I've made a mess. Look at the glorious life of shit. Of being in <laughs> Just turn it upside down and put it in there. Put the. Put what, the what does it matter which way I got it? Do what you said. Look, you leave all this Don't mess. Worry. Let me show you when you ain't got air conditioner. This is up front. We got fans going. Going. 
This is how hot it is in our store right now. Just up here, not back in the back. It's just right here. 84 degrees inside. Yeah, 84 point. Point oh. Oh, I thought it was like 80. Right here. Right. It's toasty. But it still felt cooler in here than it does outside. But the heat index today is in between 104 and 114, so. It's hot. It's probably a little cooler back here because the sun is not shining back here. But not by much. I've got such a... Oh, we got that last week. Yeah, I don't know if y'all seen that piece or not. And our back room is a train wreck again. So we still got more antique furniture we got out of the unit yesterday. We got that bed, two tables, um, the dresser that matches the bed, and then this little three drawer stand, dealio, and then some odds and ends stuff. We unloaded the other stuff into our storage unit. We'll go through that at a different time. It was mainly clothes, you guys. Um, I bought this this morning to fix some of the antique furniture. We got, next time y'all see this, Somebody. Next time y'all see this back room, it's going to be organized, I promise. Oh, and we're redoing the boiler room now, too. Yeah, we're redoing everything back here. We're going to set us up a organizational table, make it flow better, because right now we have stuff everywhere, everywhere. And all the washers and dryers are now going to be So we got this there. thing right here called a shop craft reciprocal saw. Well, you put like a sawzall blade in that or something? Right. Let's see if it works. Well, I mean, I don't have any room. Would you plug it up? Would I plug that up? No. Right there, get her done. Like, this ain't safe at all. Look, I'm trying to unplug this, and I got these little spikes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that comes from. Hey. <laughs> Don't do as we do, people. Yeah, learn from our mistakes. Like um, the, Some dope smoking stuff. Has that even got holes? I don't know. I think it's the end. It, it looks like bookends almost. I don't think, I thought at first it'd be incense, but that wouldn't that catch on fire. Let's show you what we got down in here. Because I have no clue. Let's come out of that antique unit. Lamp. I don't know. There wasn't many boxes in the antique unit. Did they see the, the unit before we loaded them? All of them? No. Do you want to see a picture? Hmm. Y'all, we we're just got a mess. That's all we got. That's yeah, a mess. Got That's a sewing machine. That's a sewing machine. Just a mess. Just a mess. So we gotta fix this piece of furniture. The veneer. Right here, see this veneer's coming up, so I'm gonna glue it back down. Um, really ain't got nothing to show y'all. It's gonna try to make another video, but we ain't got nothing to show. So. And we know it's been a while, you guys. We've just been busy. Y'all, the kids have started school. What else? The kids. All the orthodontists and dentist the appointments. The dentist appointment, the orthodontic appointments, the, the, what else? Here. Oh, the dancing. Here. eBay. It's just been a lot, y'all. We've been having it. We haven't had it. Haven't had I'm any I'm having time. a dang stroke. It's hot. <laughs> um, so yeah. Took us, we went and got four units and took us, we left out, I got up at three, left out at four. Was back here at 10. Not too bad. In the pouring rain. In the pouring rain. With a leak in you haul. <laughs> oh, these ducks right here, I had to fix them. Swan, ducks. Right here. Had to fix Peace, that because it was them. broke right. This one. I fixed right it. It's a good. I didn't even see where it broke right there. So I fixed that, and it's it's not gonna break ever again. It goes on the back of on the back of this thing here. The piece back under. And it's got some kind of mirror that goes in it, but I don't think we have a mirror. Do we? Honestly, I think it's the one that was broke. Or it's this one. 
But see, oh, there's holes on that where it would go is. in. No, that's too tall. Holes where it goes in. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna end up moving this table, you guys. Like yeah. you were talking about. Next, next couple there. Of videos we're gonna show. We're gonna show y'all how to organize because this ain't it. Look, I got glue, bones. Let's just turn this into a video of how screwed up our place is. This is eBay stuff up here. Stamps. We got like this. That's for the air compressor. This. That was the open boxes. Bags. There's tape everywhere. Well, what it is, you guys, we think, Big well, hammers. we can use it. We'll use this in just a minute, so we set it over here. This or, big old hammer head. I don't even know why that's in there. <laughs> I don't even know why that bucket's there. <laughs> oh, here's our other shelf. It's it's just a, like, see, those those need to go out. Like, look, I got firework keys. Smoking chips. Smoking chips. I got a plunger thing for your toilet. Dryer cords. Uh, Louis Vuitton. It's rough. Maybe she's kind of angry. Oh, I don't even know what this stuff is. Like, where where did all this come from? Oh, a rat bait. Uh, thing of. Switch plates. Switch plates. That's price gun stuff. I know what that is. Look, we even tried to get organized with the cleaners on we the back of the door. We even got that done nasty quick down here, y'all. That's chains. Or screws or something. Holy cow. It's been back here for a while. I've never seen it. Look, a Monopoly piece. The boot. What is this stuff? I don't know, honey. We see it and we just stick it on a shelf. It says record bar tracks. Five dollars for a turtle. The Pinnacle Mint Collection Baseball. I don't know. Some pennies. A token for a fair. See, so, I don't know what any of those are. Just a bunch of randomness. Probably a gold coin in there. Okay. It's the catch-all shelf. Just put it back here to Polaroid. Let's go look at some more junk. <laughs> well, we got so much stuff, we're having to block our back room door. And here, you're gonna. Okay, so this is the boiler room. This is gonna be where we put it. I'm gonna put washer and dryer testing area in here, move all this over to there. We're, we started, but then we stopped. And then we filled it back up. See, like, there's my no gun thing about this morning. I mean, you, you handed it to me while I was stuck in here. So in here we got a washer and dryer we just got, we got a test. We got a crap load of blankets that we got to somehow smuggle back to you haul. Just random stuff over there. No, that's here. that's just spray paint and stuff. Y'all remember our pots and pans we were cleaning? They're still back here, never been touched again. There's part of our- They should be good and soaked though. It's been about a year. <laughs> um, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Something's dropping bed rails. Almost out. I don't even know why those are sitting right there. This. So we got bed rails in the corner. Don't know why. So if you Huh? Huh? It's fine, Curtis. That was organized. So if y'all think our lives are organized and we're doing well, we're not. Say so what? Curtis just literally was flashing me. You're seeing, you're seeing bed, no, I'm gonna show them the belly on camera. Show them that belly, Ooh. show them that belly. So in here, we just got random odds and ends. It was organized, Look, guys. there's our barkeeper's friend. We gotta test this washer too. So we're really not that organized. We may yeah. come across as like experts, those, but we're not. Those four blue barrels right behind Coach's shoulder is still all that wedding stuff we have left. This is what happens. You sell a lot of it and you have stuff that you don't want to mess with and it just piles up. 
and you don't want to throw it away because it's good stuff. We're hoarders. That is the definition of hoarding. <laughs> it's just we get Look, we got all these mop heads over here. Well, we kind of buried them, okay? With all our bulbs that go to. We got a Walmart buggy full of blankets. Yeah, that's my furniture. Like, we are hoarders. What's in this suitcase? I don't even know. <laughs> I think that was left from when we bought that one in um, Atala. Baby. Or no, that one, that's that camping one that we got out of Georgia. That's the one you said with the preppers. Yep, it is. Look at that. See, I've never even went through this bag. <laughs> it got overwhelmed quick. That's garbage. There's a trash can right in front of you. Right in front of you. Those, Those are cute. I think you're into that thing. There's some wipes, honey. Why you say honey? Like, I'm going to use them. <laughs> There's some pellets. That'll sell. That'll sell. It won't ever sell if we don't get it out there. Just set it in here. Set it down here. I don't know, i got to get whatever in this side pouch out. Oh, it just comes. It's right here. Isn't it? Okay, Cabela what? boots. They're Cabela's. They're nice. They're dang nice. What size are they? Too big for me. Ten and a half. Yep. So we found some nice boots. See, you just... Kurt, look what I found. We found a bag we ain't went through in, what, four months? Let's go find some more dope. <laughs> know what that's in there? It's like that big old Those bag aren't priced, honey. We, we ain't priced them. I was showing to it. Oh, that's a Raunchy's stainy blanket. Or ten and a half. That's the same size I wear. <laughs> you look like wearing hiking boots. Hey, look, there's a tent. Battle set. I'll take the tent, the hiking boot. No. Need a koozie to go with it? Here's a boat. No, a raft. Another one? I don't know. Where'd y'all find this? Just laying down here in the floor. Well, y'all so organized, man. It's a glass. That's why I've been in here a month. Look, that's the thing to keep your phone dry. Sure enough. We got a doctor's kit. It was probably a doctor's thing. What okay, the? That's brand new boots. I'm sorry, <laughs> Sarah Courtney. <laughs> it's probably a doctor's thing. Hand got... me all the stuff that'll sell, and I'll put oh, it in the container. Lottery tickets. Well, he didn't win nothing. In my house. It ain't gonna matter now. You only got 90 days to claim it. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see what we got. Okay. Well, you do scrap it. Yeah, I'll scrap it. All this stuff will sell. Look at all these. There's a net. This is definitely not for a big phone. Did I just find a did I just find a gun? I don't know. You thought you may in this one. This is for an iPhone five or six. Stop bleeding. What? I'm telling this guy was a doctor. Hey, we can keep them, we got a nine. Oh, we got some, Look at we got this. Some and we got some Can't fit? That's nice, that'll sell. That's all will sell. That'll sell. Spot bleed. Didn't we already sell the last ones we had of that? Curtis blow this. Emergency whistle. That'll sell. A Ziploc bag. Some floats. A pencil. That was and some stormproof matches. Yeah, that's what we need right there. For my um thing. That'll sell too. Gerber. A monocular. Check it out. Tasco. That's a good brand, right? Yeah. We what the crap, honey? We'll fix it in later. A shovel. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a shovel. It looks new. That's because he never had to bug out or print. Like, he just bought this stuff in case something bad happened. And something bad happened and he lost his locker where he put all his stuff. There's more wet ones. I don't know if that's going and... Well, at least it comes for your case's teeth break. Well, what? Western USA knife. That'll sell. That'll sell. Mm, I don't know what all that is. That's a big marker. I think it's like his his fire starting stuff. Well, 
Whip it out. Is that a... Oh! That's We're about it. to find a gun. I mean, why else would you find We've a... had a gun in this back room this whole time. <laughs> why are you giving me a marker? I mean, if you're going to find a bag, what is this? Oh, camo face paint. Do we need that? For when we go hunting? Maybe. This is something, winch. Oh, it's a gun cleaning kit. A little mobile gun cleaning kit. Well, that'll sell. If you didn't lose all the pieces. And they clung out of there pretty quickly. Professional knowledge. Oh, block book. This assembly and reassembly for all models. The Glock is... There's a holster. We're getting closer. If we find a gun, I'm going to flip out. I'm going to be highly upset that it's been and in this so bathroom. Happy. More pellets. Ooh, that thing was sticky. Gun cleaning kit? No, that's a fishing pole. That's a fishing pole. It's a fly fishing pole, I think. Scope. Are y'all, where where's this been? It's been back here this whole time. There's some scope. Is it new? Yeah. You want it? No, we may. You never know when you're going to get in a bind. Yeah, never know. Is that it? That's a shirt and a bag. Awkward. Wow. That's a Zippo. Look at that. That's a rough Zippo. But... Not even real zipper. This is in case you get bored. Make your own wallet. That's in case you lose your other one. There's some polo. Shaving cream. Holster. Assortment of fishing stuff. Okay. Sling. Running all the right pieces. A doohickey for your nose. This nasal aspirator. Swedish, Swedish fish. fish. <laughs> I bet he took all the guns out before he put a it. motor. Before he put his gun safe in there. Because this thing will add an empty gun. Altoids? No. We're not, we're not going to put a lot of time in it. They're calling about that mattress. He just said we're not going to put in the time or the fishing kit, a dental tube kit. Is that new or used? Uh, new and another one. Another. Okay. I don't want nobody's used dental kits. Some swimming goggles. Hang on. I lost something. <laughs> this thing. This knife sharpener. Oh, this, this thing's getting full. I have a feeling we're not going to find the gun, honey. Unless it's in this cubby right here. We will get to that cubby. Don't touch the cubby. There's a lot. Okay, so that side's empty. That side's empty. Wait, does it need batteries? Yeah, yeah it needs batteries. Do you think it'll sell, ball cap lot? There is another compartment here we have not checked. I ain't gonna mess that up. No, that's the bottom of what that's you were just That's the same digging. compartment. This side. That's a first aid kit. That's what it is. She was not lying, guys. That'll sell. Toothbrush. Um, I don't know if it's new. Soap. That doesn't look new. Bite and string kit. The only suction device, what? I don't know, it's a sucker. Oh, is it like when you're aspirating? It removes snake venom. Oh. We need to keep that in case I get bit by a snake here. No gun, but we found some cool stuff. Bag will sell. Wait, wait, is that another cubby on the back? Is it a gun? I don't know, there's like another zipper part on the back. It's a hidden zipper. Look the bag over. I doubt it's anything, but... Oh, just straps. straps. Makes sense. That's cool stuff, Kirk. Look, hold on. Look, it's a sucker that removes snake venom. I 
can't find it. Your heartbeat? Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> look, look, it goes right here. Well, do you hear mine? We're playing doctor. <laughs> Maybe it's your clothes. <laughs> Why are you hollering? Do you hear it? Yeah, I hear it now. Why are you hollering? You're so loud. It's kind of freaking me out. Well, quit listening to your heart. I hear a flutter. It's kind of going to Jingle Bells. You remember on Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. Click on, click on, click on, click on. Okay. Now that you've opened that packaging. We should keep that. For what? Seems shorter than regular doctors. That's a good stethoscope there. Best one I've ever had. So I said the only one I've ever had. Oh, here, here it is with directions. You can. The medium bell detects low and medium pitch sounds or murmurs. That's why I couldn't hear it. Okay, let's go show them some more stuff. It's our drawer. We got just a little bit of everything in here. Gold testing kit, three by fives, markers, batteries, post it, pens, post it, staples, tweezers. We got a grabber in case somebody wants to see something from over here. We can get in the case and grab it. We got towels, wash rags, paper towels, packing papers for glass. And um, bags. I got some tissue paper down there. Tissue paper. Up here we have first aid kit. Another mini first aid kit. A random ring and envelopes. And then my O light. I need to charge that thing. Two batteries and two bits. I ain't real sure. Okay. He dropped Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin. Bullets. A lot of bullets. Oh look, there was a a new bull we needed. Okay. So well, if we still have it, we might as well use it. Right? Okay, so here we got cleaners, um, furniture pickup papers where they've been picked up or delivered, more cleaners and dusters. Bug spray, oven cleaners. Poopery. Poop spray and bags. A That's charging. Charging thing, mouse trap, trash can, safe, printer, what? random stuff. Two Bose speakers, Better. security systems. Colton's no TV. Our in here. lunch. Donuts. That's tax papers. Tax papers. Random, random cord. Put that back. Random cord. <laughs> These are two. Those are cell phone chargers and tablet chargers, and that other was PlayStation. That's paper and tax papers. Papers. And tax papers. Okay. Uh, silverware, sauces, plates. What's that you go to? The eBay store. Microwave, tape measure, refrigerator. It's like MTV crib show you what's in our refrigerator. There's nothing in there. Counts of ice. Coca-Colas, Dr. Pepper's, mustard, 
Curtis's sandwich. Curtis's sandwich, PB and J as always. Uh, water and more sauces. Box, box, records. Little TV. That was what we tested with up here. Some Kenton stuff for a window. That we never did, as you can uh, see we did the box, curtains. Dirty towel, step ladder, vacuum cleaner and brake. That covers everything, right? Okay. Empty bottle hand soap. I don't I think he's gonna refill that one because I don't think the soap will go through that poop one. Poop spray. After poop spray. That's before poop. After poop. Air freshener. <laughs> Another empty soap bottle. It's not empty. It's got soap in it. Clean gel. It's toilet bowl cleaner. And... and a candle. I ain't sure why. <laughs> Band-Aids. Band-Aids. That's your Jolene blue hairspray. Blue hair color. Scrub brush. And a scrubber. There's something else up there, but I don't know what it is. So as y'all can tell... We're not organized at all, so we gotta change that. Right? Yes. In due time. In due time. So if y'all think, hey, y'all watch us and you're like, hey, them guys really got it together. They know what they're doing, you we're, know. We're not. I need to get like that. I'm I got all my stuff in my living room, y'all. We're not something we're faking out to be. Like we are unorganized, normal people. Train normal. wreck. Train wreck. But I mean that's what you Curtis hit the Trash bag, yeah. There's the trash can. Oh, it's over here in the... the. So, he's not done, I guess, cleaning the bathroom. I mean, see, our book room's got dirty towels in it and toilet paper. But, I mean, we're just normal people doing a normal thing, trying to make some normal money and a normal living, right? In a little town. In a little town. So, don't let YouTubers fool you. And, you, you know, you're watching them and you're thinking, God, them people's rich. They know what they're doing. They don't, and they're not. Video's been everywhere, we already know. We got one done. Sorry, we know it's been a while. So, um, yeah. We'll try to get better at it again. Get inspired by people like me and Courtney and other YouTubers, but don't think that we're holier than thou. Or we got our crap together, because we don't. We don't have our ducks in a row. There's squirrels, they're everywhere. I mean, basically up there we got clamps holding our wall up. That's what happened to all our clamps. Remember we couldn't find them? Yeah, they're holding They're holding them all, yeah. No wonder. Can they see it? I don't know. Hang on, I'll walk around here and show you guys. Can you see that? There's nothing now there. Right we had there. the wall up. Yeah, there's no wood up there. It's just like this roof up there. It's propped against. So... Thank y'all for watching. Love you all. See y'all next time we go.